Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. So in Monster Strike, I wanted to look at the uh, City Hunter collaboration and then think about which uh, Max Lux would be worth making. Uh, but I thought that would be a short video. Um, so first, let's look at the, uh, the new Hatcher. I don't usually do this, but yeah, just to fill out the video a little bit. Um, and then the, um, the series here, this is the second entry in the Agents series. Uh, the first being Deneb, Spica, and Sirius. Uh, but yeah, here are more agents with uh, star names. Uh, first one is uh, Vega, and then uh, this is the evolution version. She's a bounce with a Minesweeper, and that's her only null ability. Um, stats are pretty good overall, considering she is a blast type. Uh, speed is really good uh, for a blast type bounce. Um, she also has the fire resistance, and then a drain, which is great for uh, bounce characters in particular. Uh, the bump combo is the Rampage Laser, EL. And I think she's only the second character uh, in the game to ever get that as a blast type. Uh, the first one being the limited character, Kamile. Um, so yeah, if you like that uh, bump combo, you can certainly use it uh, here. And then the uh, strike shot, uh, let's see, it looks like... Um, uh, power up, and then every time she hits teammates, uh, she heals them. Um, so that's similar to like Kiss Kill Leela. Um, probably not as powerful. I think on Kiss Kill Leela, it's like a three times multiplier. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, it should still be usable with uh, Vega. And uh, yeah, that's definitely not going to be the same multiplier because this is every 12 turns, uh, which is nice. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty quick. Okay, next let's look at the Ascension version. Uh, another bounce, uh, this time a uh, speed type. So speed's very good. Uh, HP and attack are still decent though. Um, she's got the Fiend Slayer M, that will double all damage to Fiend uh, characters. Uh, the double bump combo, meaning if you hit her twice, uh, you'll get double the bump combos. And then on the gauge is Null Damage Wall. And then um, I think she would be good for uh, the most recent Fire, Impossible, and Colossal quests. Uh, Enma 10 and um, Nigimi Tama, I think it is. Um, yeah, she could be good in there. Although there is a lot of uh, competition. Uh, bounce characters with um, that are water with no damage wall. Uh, maybe the most prominent being uh, Moses, so she does have to compete with him. Um, but she has the uh, the healing uh, dunk laser, and then the uh, speed up S as a sub bump combo. And then yeah, again she has the uh, bump combo times two, um, so you could get double the healing, double the speed up. Um, so that's a pretty nice uh, set of support abilities. And then uh, the strike shot. Uh, similar to Brutus, uh, where she gets the speed up and then the uh, barrier around herself. And then um, this is nice because it can give her immunity to uh, damage walls and mines and needle panels. Um, so yeah, for that turn, um, you could think of it as like a maybe a triple null or like a 2.5 null. <laughs> um, so that's Vega. Uh, next up is uh, Betelgeist. Uh, this guy is interesting. He is a uh, wood pierce. Uh, with no warp and then the water slayer. Um, so you can kind of think of him as a Pierce version of uh, Belphegor. Um, so yeah, pretty strong. Um, he's also got the laser stop, a uh, nice defensive ability, which I'm a fan of. Uh, the bump combo is the spread bomb, uh, which is already very strong, uh, but then he's got the uh, water slayer passive in him, so that'll be more damage against water monsters with that. And then the strike shot, uh, speed and power up, and then uh, the first enemy that he hits, he'll pick up the uh, the Slayer for that class. Um, so this is like for Nirai Kanai. I wonder if this is the first guy that is a Pierce to have that. Uh, but yeah, he should be pretty strong. Um, you could maybe use him in a Karuna, that uh, water Golzetsu quest. Although I prefer bounce characters in there. Uh, but if you do like Pierce characters, then this guy would be one of the best, I think. So maybe try him out. And then the Ascension version is also really good. He might be the best character of this Hatcher. Uh, he's another Pierce uh, with Minesweeper and Null Damage Wall, which is kind of rare, I feel like, for wood. Um, and it's the same as a Kushinada. Um, so yeah, anywhere where you could bring Kushinada, which is a bunch of quests, you could bring him as well. Uh, but like uh, Horai, uh, Bishamonten... Uh, Yamata Takeru Zero. Oh, and he'd be really good for the latest uh, Water Colossal, Aramitama. Uh, that's a very difficult quest, but this guy might be good in there. And then um, on the gauge, he has the status recovery, which is always nice. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of, like, you know, power down or speed down or whatever lately, so he would be good to uh, heal that. 
Uh, bump combo is the spread piercer, which is mm, okay. And then the other bump combo is the uh, defense down blast, uh, which is not great. Um, uh, Lucifer has it, Miroku has it. It's very short range, it doesn't do a lot of damage, although it does lower the, uh, the defense of that uh, enemy. Uh, but yeah, you're not going to be using this guy for his uh, bump combos. And then uh, Strike Shot, uh, this reveals all of the weak points of an enemy, so that's, uh, that's pretty good, that's pretty useful. Alright, and then the last character, this is maybe the most interesting of the three, uh, Regal. Uh, this is a Light Bounce with a Minesweeper L, um, so that's 2.5 times the damage when he picks up a mine. And then a Counter Slayer uh, passive in him, so it's always on. And then, uh, yeah, when you pull him and get his arrow out in order to fire him, uh, you'll see the targets uh, for who he has the Counter Slayer for. Um, so that makes it easy to remember or to see like who he has the Counter Slayer of. And then a uh, Strike Shot Reducer. And then, yeah, he really needs that because the Strike Shot is 30 turns, which is pretty long for a Strike Shot these days. Uh, but this is the, uh, the three turn delay, uh, which is still one of the uh, strongest strike shots in the game. And then the bump combo is the same as uh, Jekyll and Hyde, uh, the uh, green peas that splits uh, four times. So pretty strong. Uh, Counter Slayer will go into that. Uh, he only has the single null ability, the Minesweeper. Um, so he'll be a little bit limited in his use. Uh, but if that's all you need, he's going to be really, really good uh, in those quests. And then the Ascension, which is maybe my favorite of all of the, uh, the Hatcher monsters here. Um, he is a Pierce uh, speed type with weak point Slayer M. Um, so double the damage in weak points, which is already three times the damage. So I guess that's six times the damage. And then um, the um, Strike Shot Turn Axle. Um, so if your HP is less than half of your max, um, that'll speed up his uh, Strike Shot. And then um, on the gauge, he has the uh, Sokol Jikara. Uh, which means he gets another buff uh, to his attack when your HP is below 50. Um, I don't know why he has the uh, Strike Shot Turn Axle, uh, because he already has an 8 turn Strike Shot. <laughs> um, this is an 8 turn Null Everything, and that's really, really cool. Him being a Pierce and then also having the Weak Point Slayer M uh, means he can be good almost anywhere. Um, I think it just depends on your imagination, uh, how you use this guy, um, how good he is going to be. Uh, but he could be pretty versatile, pretty useful. And then uh, the bump combo, the first one is the same as Hodai. It's that single wave uh, which goes out and then gets bigger as it goes along. And this has a really good chance to hit uh, weak points of guys. Um, so you can get extra damage in there. And then the sub bump combo is the green peas that uh, rebounds three times. Uh, not as often as uh, Jekyll and Hyde. Um, so yeah, that's Regal. He's maybe the most interesting of the three. All right, so that is the Hatcher. Pretty strong overall. Maybe nobody overpowered, but yeah, uh, pretty good. Okay, next, let's look at the uh, City Hunter collaboration. Um, these are all drop monsters. There's no Hatcher monsters here. Um, so this is very um, kind to free-to-play players and new players. Uh, but yeah, this is the, uh, the main character here, uh, Ryo, I think. And um, apparently this anime is pretty interesting. I've never seen it. I think it's like late 80s, early 90s. Uh, but this character is like a... Um, not quite an undercover cop, but he works kind of like in the shadier part of the city. And uh, yeah, he doesn't wear like a uniform and stuff, but... Uh, I guess he's very resourceful, very strong, and uh, very lecherous. That's uh, also in keeping with the uh, late 80s, but... <laughs> uh, I guess there's going to be a, a kind of a revival uh, movie uh, released. Um, so I might go see that. Um, it does sound interesting, and the animation looks good, too. Uh, but anyway, he's kind of the, uh, the marquee uh, drop character. We'll look at him real quick here. Uh, fire, bounce, with uh, no damage wall and no wind. Um, I still feel like there are not a lot of fire drop monsters that are bounce with no damage wall that are great. Let's see if I'm right. Um... Let's see who we got lately. A lot of uh, limited characters. Here is uh, Ochise, she's okay. Uh, Ragnarok, that's a Colossal. Mm. There is a uh, Mikumo. Although I never hear people using her. 
There's a Nirvana, of course, but he's an impossible monster. And yeah, a bunch of old guys. So yeah, still there's not a lot of good options for bounce, uh, fire, no damage wall, drop monsters. Um, so that is already a great um, merit uh, to get making the max luck of this guy. Uh, but then he also has a uh, Dragon Slayer uh, passive in him, so that'll go into his bump combo. And then his bump combo is maybe the strongest that a drop monster has, and that is the uh, the Ricochet. Um, this is the same as like a Takasugi, uh, where the bullet you know flies around, hits all enemies on screen uh, for the uh, 33,000 damage, and that's pretty strong. Um, so yeah, I would get him just for that. But also the fact that he's a fired bounce with no damage wall is also good. And then uh, Strike Shot is interesting. This is like two Strike Shots uh, merged into one. Uh, it's a point and shoot uh, kind of laser Strike Shot. Uh, but then it also increases the effectiveness of the weak point after you fire it. Um, so yeah, that's two nice uh, Strike Shots together. Um, I would say definitely make this guy. Okay, next up is a uh, base four star monster. Um, is Nogami. I guess he's Ryo's uh, boss. I don't know if you want to make the 90 luck of this character. Probably just getting the one to use in 5 star and under quest is going to be enough. Uh, but she's appears with no gravity barrier, no warp. That's a pretty nice uh, double null ability. Uh, the barrage shotgun, which is, you know, very concentrated. That can do some good damage. And then strike shot. Uh, let's see. Speed up, and then she swings knives uh, around her. I guess that's like uh, Don Quixote or characters like that, uh, where it's better to not hit the enemy, um, just so you can get a lot of movement and a lot of uh, swings with that weapon. Uh, here, this is another uh, five-star monster, and then um, this is the one where you play the quest once and then you get one drop. Um, so if you do want to make the max luck of this character, start early, and then uh, yeah, get those drops little by little. Uh, the quest seems a little... Mm, not super fast, not super smooth, uh, but maybe bring fire monsters with no gravity barrier uh, that are bounce. Um, so maybe like uh, Shingen would be really good. Or uh, Kenshin, if you got him from the collaboration. Uh, Beethoven, Hanzo, people like that. Um, but they are uh, Umibolzu and uh, Miki, I guess. Uh, they are a bounce, uh, wood, no gravity barrier. Uh, that's their only null uh, ability. Uh, and they are power types, so their speed is a little bit slow. Um, they do have dash, uh, which does improve their speed, uh, but because they are a power type, they'll slow down a lot once they start hitting guys. Um, I am not going to make the max look of this one, uh, because I have some other uh, wood bounce characters with no gravity barrier. Uh, in particular, Kushinada Zero, one of my favorite uh, max locks. So I'm going to skip on these guys. Um, I don't usually like to play those missions where you only get one drop per run anyway. Uh, but I'll get the one, you know, just for the uh, five orbs for the clear, and then maybe, uh, yeah, use them somewhere. Um, also passive in them, they have uh, Demon Slayer M, so that's double damage, and uh, they have pretty high attack, so that's nice. Uh, they do have the uh, Blast Bump combo, which I like for uh, Max Lux. And then, let's see, Strike Shot, they fire the Bazooka. Uh, I looked in the uh, official video where they show the character off, and this seems like a very powerful Strike Shot. Uh, but still not powerful enough for me to want to make them. Okay, next, uh, this is uh, Ryo's partner, um, Kaori, and then she's another uh, four-star monster, so you can use her in five-star under quests. Um, she's a Pierce with a Minesweeper and Null Damage Wall. That's a nice uh, double null sling style combination. Uh, she has a bump combo that I really like. It's the uh, Lock-On Pierce Wave, uh, but the Poison version. Um, I like the regular version because it's pretty good damage for a drop monster. And then with the poison here, it gives you a little bit more utility. Uh, good against scorpions. And then uh, pretty decent damage um, for a uh, four-star monster. And then strike shot. Looks like she gets a speed up. And then all enemies that she hits will get hit with this 100-ton hammer. Uh, kind of like a, a meteor strike shot. So yeah, she could be good to have. Um, again, probably not going to make the 90 luck of her, but uh, yeah. All right, and then finally, we have one more five-star monster that you can make the max luck of, uh, Cat's Eye. Uh, these are these uh, three sisters. I guess they're bad guys. Uh, we'll see in the movie. Uh, but they are a Pierce speed type. Uh, so HP and attack are a little low. Speed is good. Uh, Pierce with no gravity barrier and no block. Uh, that is great for a drop monster. And actually, let's look at um, all of the available 
uh, characters with that. So yeah, very, very few. <laughs> uh, we have, let's see, two just kind of standard characters, uh, Kamai Tachi and then uh, Firefly, who are good, but not really strong. You can't count on them for damage at all. Um, they're just there for mobility and then like setting off the, uh, the bump combos for a stronger characters. And then we have uh, three limited characters here. Um, I forget who this guy is from, Yu Yu Hakusho maybe? Uh, but a lot of people who didn't make him really read it. He's really good. And then uh, Yotosei, also really good. And then, um, right, Kirito and Asuna, also really good. Uh, all limited characters, so you can't really count on them coming back. Um, so yeah, if you did miss them, this would be a great chance to, um, or a great reason to get uh, Cat's Eye. And then there's two um, extreme monsters, super extreme monsters, who are more difficult to do. Uh, Cat's Eye is almost certainly going to be easier, so you might want to make them. Uh, but here is a Senju from the, uh, the movie collaboration. He's pretty good. No gauge is nice. Meteor Strike Shot and then the, uh, the Chevron. That's a pretty good bump combo. And then Otsu Ascension, who I think you want to make anyway. Uh, because she's got the Blast Bump combo and then she's good for uh, Vita, I think. That very uh, high level Golzetsu quest. Um, I do want to make her. Uh, but I'm going to make uh, Cat's Eye as well. Um, yeah, just the Pierce no Gravity Mirror Null Block is uh, pretty versatile, pretty easy to use. Uh, they also have the Strike Shot Reducer, uh, which is also nice for them since they also have a 30 turn Strike Shot. Uh, they split into three, and then whomever they hit will get a Meteor. Um, so yeah, this is nice. This is almost like a guaranteed Meteor on everybody, uh, because three characters bouncing around are going to hit pretty much everybody. Uh, bump combo is also pretty decent. It's the Energy Circle, uh, the Olympic Rings version, uh, where there's five little rings and they're all the different elements. Not a ton of damage, but decent. And then um, it's pretty easy for them to kind of like stop next to an enemy because they are Pierce. Um, so they can stop next to them and then maybe hit a character with maybe two or even three of those rings and get good damage in there. Okay, so I think that'll do it. That was a look at the, uh, the newest Hatcher and then also the City Hunter collaboration. Um, in short, I would make the max luck of uh, Ryo and then uh, Cat's Eye. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.